All right, in this video, I want to do another uh, factoring of a perfect square trinomial. And in this video, I'm going to end up using the second video, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. It says we can factor that as the quantity a minus b times a minus b. Again, multiply out the bottom one. You'll see you'll get this right back. And in this video, I'm going to factor 81x squared minus 36xy plus 4y squared. Again, <clears throat> what I do in these is uh, I'm not so much looking at that and just going, wow, that is a, that is a perfect square trinomial. Um, to me, in my head, I'm thinking, well, i got to factor it. So uh, there's three terms, so I know I'm going to make two sets of parentheses here. And again, at least, you know, one thing I'm hoping that would work. So to get the 81x squared, um, I could use a 9x and a 9x. You know, again, there's certainly other numbers that multiply to give us 81, but this is a lot of times my first guess. To get the 4y squared, I'm either going to need a positive 2y and a positive 2y, or they'll both have to be negative. But since the term in the middle is negative, they'll both have to be negative. And in my head, I'm thinking, you know, is that right? Well, if you multiply it out, 9x and 9x is 81x squared, which works. 9x and negative 2y will give us a negative 18xy. On the inside, we'll get another negative 18xy. If we combine those, hey, we'll get our negative 36xy. And then on the outside, we'll get a positive 4y squared. So again, you can really check that this original if we think about our a as being uh, 9x, and if we think about our b as being um, the 2y, it says really you can think about this original problem of being in the form a squared minus 2 times a times b plus b squared. And if you rewrite, uh, you know, if you were to fill this in, using these values, we would get this original back. And again, it says it factors as a minus b times a minus b, and that's what we just did. So again, you know, I, I'm not really noticing this thing. I, I don't notice that if I double, you know, the first and the last, and hey, everything works out to be the middle. To me, I'm just thinking, you know, again, one thing that kind of clues me in to try this is, you know, 81 is a nice, is, is, a, is a perfect square. 4 is also a perfect square. And again, it just makes me think probably, you know, not always, but at least that's a good first place to check.